Okay, so now that we have um, already computed our multiple items into a single construct, we can now run our Pearson correlation analysis. So just go to analyze, go to correlate. We want a bivariate correlation. Already, I have already inputted uh, my performance expectancy over there. Okay, let me just reset and show it to you. No worries. Okay, just I need all of my three variables and then just click on OK. Right, there you go. Um, you're going to have the results over here. It seems that all of the relationship is um, is a significantly positive relationship. Uh, uh, performance expectancy has a significant positive relationship with social influence. It also has a significant positive relationship with um, customer satisfaction. How do I know it's significant? Look at the asterisk um, and you can see a note down here. Correlation is significant uh, when there's two asterisks. Correlation is significant at the uh, p-value less than 0 0.001. Okay, why is it two-tailed? Because we did not specify the direction of the relationship earlier on. Okay, let's take a look at the um, social influence um, and its relationship with customer satisfaction. Um, it also has a positive relationship with customer satisfaction. Yay, everything is positive. Let's take a look at our scatter plot graphs, okay? So I've mentioned earlier that there's, there's two ways to do the graph. You can do the simple way, um, which is going to be here, or you can also use the regression variable plots, okay? Um, let me just use this one right now. I don't need anything on the options. Are you going to get the scatter plot here? Okay. It seems that there are some outliers over here. So these are the outliers. If you remove these outliers, you're going to get a stronger, um, a larger effect for the correlation. Okay. So if you if you can remove the outliers, uh, remember that I did not do the normality test. I did not do the outliers test. So you need to do it before conducting any inferential statistics. Just a reminder, right? So again, um, this looks okay. From performance expectancy to customer satisfaction looks okay, but there you go. There's another one outlier over here. So I would want to be checking that. I would want to be checking on that. Another one over here. It uh, doesn't make sense for it to have um, up until 12. So you better clean up your data before doing all this. And then we need to compute from performance expectancy to social influence because we did not have that graph early on. Okay, again, we have that alias and this, it doesn't look uh, really good. Uh, it is concentrated on just a single plot, but there's an outlier over here, another outlier over here. All right. And that is all for your Pearson exercise. That's all. You can see that they have a positive um, linear relationship for from all of the scatter plot. Everything is positive and linear, all right? Thank you very much. I shall see you in our coming videos.